Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. Just wanted to shoot out this quick video and uh, talk about a couple things. Now, I've been kind of looking at the XRP stuff. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I'm just gonna give it to you straight. I'm no... Um, analyst as you guys know uh, I'm definitely not giving any advice um, nothing like that I'm telling you what I'm seeing and how I'm trying to figure out what to do now of course you see here with uh, this guy Mark Phillips I'm not sure who he is uh, just what he's tweeted here is very interesting um, I'm just gonna start from here now my concern is that it's taken so long for things to kind of take off. I personally believe that the central banks have taken control of crypto. This is what I believe for at least a couple years now. Well, I'll say this. In 2021 or the end of 2020, when I saw... Uh, you know, when the, when the lawsuit was launched against Ripple. And then we just saw pretty much um, XRP, like I mentioned before, get its legs cut out. It, it seems to me that the market has been co-opted. They definitely have the money to do so. Um, and, and I just, I hate to say it, say this, but... I almost feel like they're setting us up for something. Now, don't get me wrong. I, you know, there's always a possibility that things can turn out just perfectly. However, with the way things have been going, and we've already seen, yeah, yeah, you know, I look at, um, I watch uh, blockchain backers videos, and according to him. Everything has to happen a certain way, you know, because of how the market has always acted, right? However, when you have something like uh, the crypto market, it's not, even stock market, we know it's manipulated. And there are certain people who collectively own 51% of the world's wealth okay 51 percent so we're talking trillions many trillions of dollars when crypto is you know a trillion or so the whole uh or, or i'm not sure exactly where it is now just to be honest but it's not two trillion right and these people have many more trillions than that right so I'm just a little bit concerned. Um, I think, according to what I've been watching and what I've been studying, it's very possible we're not going to see anything happen with XRP. And I really hate to say that, you know, I really appreciate XRP. I've, I've kind of come off that XRP high, to be honest with you, but... I'm, I'm just kind of concerned. I feel like we're going to see something that we're, we're really not wanting to see. I mean, if you look at the economy, you look at, you know, all this, um, it's, it's very possible that the Fed could raise interest rates by, instead of a quarter a basis point, it could be a half, right? Uh, if that happens, we know what's going to happen with the crypto market. People are going to get scared. They're going to start selling. Same thing with the uh, with the uh, stock market. So I, I'm just sharing my concerns, what I'm thinking with you guys. Now I'm not saying that anybody should sell. I'm not, you know, nothing like that. I'm just, again, I'm just sharing. Now here, Mark Phillips says uh, he, he's talking about the strategy of the central banks, right? So one, SEC implies clarity for BTC and ETH. 
Yeah, Wall Street weaponizes SEC to sue Ripple. Who owns Wall Street? Of course, the bankers. XRP off limits for U.S. banks and most retail. Very true. Very difficult to get XRP. Well, it's pretty difficult to get XRP, right? Unlike it was before the lawsuit. SEC allows real fraud, FTX, Celsius, etc. to continue, right? We know that. So, look, we know the SEC. We know a lot of these, if not all of the, we, we know what's up with the government agencies here in the U.S. We know what's up with them. I don't even have to say it. We know what's up with them. Uh, number five, Congress uses fraud as excuse to hobble all crypto. Absolutely. And uh, I think we haven't seen the worst of that. We still haven't had the black swan event that I've been expecting. Something's going to bring the market down. From what I'm understanding, something is about to happen that is going to really hurt the crypto market. And I'm, I'm just saying this just to give a different perspective. I st still see a lot of people saying, well, once the lawsuit is over, everything's going to shoot up. I mean, the very thing that we expect, just look at it like this. The people who are actually in control don't want you rich. That defeats their purpose. It's like uh, at one time I got into the whole uh, uh, GCR or uh, global uh, reset, whatever thing, right? I got interested in that. And when I really took a step back and looked at it, I mean, these people believe that they're going to receive millions, like hundreds of millions of dollars <laughs> from the very people who stole it from them, you know, stole everything in the first place. Thieves don't give back anything. They just don't. So to sit back, I mean, and there are people who've been waiting 20 plus years for that to happen. I mean, hell, us in the crypto market, we've been waiting since 2017. The highest we've seen is what, almost $2 since 2017. Still hasn't happened. So is it likely? I don't know. I hate saying that. And I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys out there, I mean, I, I've even... You know, I've cheerleaded for XRP, for Ripple, for years. But being honest with you, I think the opportunity, the real opportunity, uh, or rather the last opportunity was 2021 when when it hit almost $2. That was I think that was the last opportunity. Um, I hope I'm wrong. And I hope you guys don't hate me for this, but I'm just being honest. Uh, you know, I, 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 I feel that anyone sitting here just saying moon all the time is just not being honest. We, we haven't seen any of that. Uh, again, I want to see it. I know a lot of people are sitting back waiting, but generally what I've seen, especially in this world, that's not what we get. The people that have all the money find a way to pull the rug from under us. Now let's go on with Mark Phillips here. And, and again, I don't know who Mark Phillips is. Uh, let's see how many followers he has. He has 9,000 followers. I just kind of um, resonate with what he's saying simply because these are some of the things that I personally have thought about myself. Okay, a uh, unicorn hunter, interesting. So number six, Wall Street Ready's Custody Solutions. Seven regulators narrow USD on off ramps to starve exchanges and weaken DA projects. I mean, these things are happening. Eight SEC expands reach to all crypto, including BTC and ETH. Uh, Wall Street kills or consumes all crypto exchanges. Regulators bless crypto projects offered by Wall Street. So, 
um, yeah, it's just, I mean, really, it's it's just an, another perspective. And, and I think we need to entertain all of it because if we look back and, and just see what's happened, uh, see what's usually happened when we when we're expecting, um, it just never materializes. And I don't want anyone to be disappointed. Um, I guess, you know, in some cases, it's all or nothing. You know, everybody has their own strategy. I want all of us to be successful. That's what I want for everyone. I want us all to have exactly what we were looking for, at least or, or at least close to it. But at the same time, I have to be real with myself and look at um, the past. I mean, we have to look at history. We know what happens if you don't consider history. Uh, on the other hand, we still have folks where, um, like uh, a digital asset investor, I mean, you know, once he, once, <laughs> I remember when the um, lawsuit was filed, uh, DA, <laughs> the digital asset investor, he like kicked it up in a, into another gear. He, he went completely ham on it. Right. And, and I, I understand that we were, like I said, we're all kind of, you know, putting all our chips in on it. Some of us, not all of us, but some of us, I know John Deaton has been working feverishly, you know, you know, trying to fight the SEC. A lot of people have put a lot of work into um, trying to get this to come out positively. Um, I just want to make sure we're all aware that things, I mean, even if Ripple wins the lawsuit, right, it's possible that nothing will happen. It's possible. So we have to be ready for all contingencies, right? And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to just talk about that. Uh, I'm going to kind of <laughs> talk about a couple other things here that is not related to crypto. Um, you know, just a main thing, guys, do whatever it is that you feel is right for you. Uh, that's what I'm doing. And I'm trying to make money in, in you know, in the whole thing, too. Uh, but I am keeping money on the sidelines to jump in if we do get this black swan event i'm going to buy as much as i can well, you know if it falls hey that that's just my plan may not happen but we'll see now the other thing too is just i don't understand <laughs> this 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 is crazy this uber driver um now this person this was like uh last year i think it was but i used to drive for uber right and this, these girls attacked this woman pretty much for no reason. And a lot of people would kind of go to race or whatever. And I think this is what instigates the whole thing because we're being um, led down this path of, you know, it's white against black. It's this against that. You know, it's all this, all these, all these, um, I don't know, these polarized views and, and things about us that the, powers I'll, I'll say powers that be keep us at each other about right we got to remember that we're all human and we're all just trying to make it today for example i'm going to work i i uh get in front of this guy and <laughs> in a in a damn dodge truck i'm going to tell you people who drive dodges oh my god anyway i'm just joking but um so this guy's like two car lengths behind you know back so i jump over in front of him to get past the car that's going really slow in front of me and i don't even look back again until i see this truck come up and he hit my <laughs> side mirror with his mirror and i'm like what in the hell is wrong with the i don't understand why someone because i'm in texas we carry guns so why would somebody put their life at risk over something that 
you'll forget about less than a mile down the road. I don't understand it. And, and it's, it's, you know, there are a lot of reasons that I'm thinking, uh, most of which kind of is related to a particular incident that, or yeah, incident that happened or started happening, uh, in 2021, people just losing their minds, but mainly, um, I think we got to be very aware of what's going on with people. There, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff happening that people are not aware of that's being done to them with frequencies, with all types of stuff. So I'm going to tell you, keep your health. That's the most important thing as far as your, your own individuality, right? Because if you're not healthy, you know, even if you're spiritual or you're religious or whatever, if you believe in God, you, you know, it's very difficult to do what you need to do as far as that goes, if you're not healthy. So, and, and, and if you're not healthy, and I'm sure you, you guys can kind of catch on to what I'm saying, but if you're not healthy, then it can affect how you react to certain situations in the world. I believe we're going to have some extremely unusual events coming and it's already starting to happen. These things that we're seeing today didn't happen just five years ago. I mean, I'm telling people at, at my job, these young, young folks in their twenties that when I was young, we were taught to respect our elders. And that was like one of the major things that we did. We respected the people that came before us. And that's extremely important. Yeah, physically, you can overpower, you can do what, you know, <laughs> to an elderly person. They, they don't stand a chance against a very strong, healthy, uh, uh, young person. But it's not about that. It's about that respect and the morals that we have. Uh, 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 you can tell a lot about a civilization or a society according to how they treat their elderly. And I'm telling anybody, if you are elderly, take note because these kids today, I don't care if they're what race they are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what race you are. Just make sure you have a way to protect yourself or at least find a way to stay out of the way because this is not going to get better. Just wanted to drop that on you guys. Um, that's really about it. I mean, I'm just soapboxing right now. Um, other than that, guys, please keep your heads about you. Keep your eyes open. Be willing to hear truth. And also be willing to help your fellow man. If they're willing to accept it. That being said, make sure you take care of yourselves, guys. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and the post notification button. Come back and see me. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves. God bless.